All right, hey everybody. Uh, looks like we're live for mailbag today. I'm gonna bring the mail over. It's just right there in the corner and then we'll get started right away. Um, now, if you've been watching the stream before we started mailbag, uh, you might have noticed that there's a lot of activity going on upstairs in the mom cat, uh, that's Thimble's, Thimble's room. She, uh, she had some discharge this morning, which is usually sort of the first sign of a, an imminent labor. Uh, also, she spent all day yesterday not really being able to eat, and uh, this morning as well, she tried eating, but she just vomited. So, um, so I think that, that hopefully, fingers crossed, adds up to the fact that she's ready to have her babies and not that she's just feeling sick. So uh, DJ's up there with her right now, keeping an eye on things, but neither one of us thinks that she's going to actually go into labor uh, in the next hour. But she could. She could start any minute now, or uh, you know, she could be a long, drawn-out thing. Right now, though, I, I'd say the bet and money is on it being sometime today. So, uh, yeah, I think I think you know we're kind of pre-labor right now, and as long as she's not actively doing anything, we'll start mailbag, and then uh, if uh, if she actually starts anything, we'll stop mailbag, and I'll head up there to hang out with DJ. Uh, DJ says she's going to turn off the sound upstairs so that she can talk to her mom while she's hanging out with him. So that's going to happen. Uh, I think it's already set off, but let me double check. I hope she's got it set right. Uh, fingers crossed. I guess uh, somebody will let me know real quick if they hear DJ talking to her mom. Otherwise, I guess there won't be any sound for the lead up while DJ's in there keeping an eye on things. He shouldn't need the sound anyway, though. She's got it covered. We'll bring our mail over. From yesterday. Double check where this camera's pointed. Make sure it's all good. Custer was supposed to be here with us because he was upstairs yelling at, at Loganberry. And I don't see him. Let me check real quick where he's at. Custer? Custer, bud? Custer, me? Come on, pal. Okay. He's just having second breakfast since he threw up his first breakfast, too. Everybody's doing it. I might do it, too. Why not? Just see what it's all about. Okay. Let's see here. Hi, bud. Hi. Let me check the cameras one more time. Good. All right. It's me. It's Maggie. It's Custard. It's the kittens. We are ready for this. And let me double check Discord to make sure nobody's saying they're listening to DJ. Hey, Maggie, that was uncalled for. Come here, buddy. Come here. Look at that. She just did that to you for no reason. I know. I know. Oh. All right, I don't see uh, anybody complaining about the sound. I did, I had this box out yesterday. The, the uh, United States Postal Service gave it to me yesterday and I'll give it back when I return. Uh, they do that to me fairly often. And usually I give it right back, but the, it was so busy in there yesterday, I just took it and left, which they, they always tell me to do. They're always like, just bring it back next time. And I, I usually don't. Uh, so yeah, um, technically I guess this is a misuse of, uh, and so, you know, whatever, but uh Fingers crossed, nobody's going to prosecute me for that. I am, like I said, I'm giving it back. It's borrowed, it's not stolen. And with permission of uh, postal employees. So, shouldn't be too bad. I hope. Look, if this is the thing that undoes Kitten Academy, oh boy. Uh, yeah, all right. There's some letters in here from yesterday, which we're going to start with those. Uh, there was one that was marked, I thought, not for mailbag. Maybe I already took it out. Maybe I accidentally opened it yesterday, not paying attention. Uh, well, we'll keep an eye out. Uh, I must have already taken that, I guess. I don't remember separating it, though. Let's start right here. We have a card from Morning Sunrise. We know exactly who that is. And inside, we have Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Very classy. Uh, we've got a shiny red... Uh, silhouette of Santa and his reindeer. Oh, and it pops up inside. That's very, oh, interesting. Um, 
very interesting the way the reindeer are done on this sort of spring. I haven't quite seen that technique before. And then we've got Santa's little sleigh. Very cute. Maggie is going to love that. She always, oh, she heard me say her name. She's going to get right to it. Okay, Maggie, well, you do your part. Sorry, uh, Dawn, that's not going to last too long with Maggie right here. She already ripped off one of the reindeer. <laughs> She's going to get all of them. Okay, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, can you just move a little bit, Maggie, so that's more on the camera? Okay. Uh, Mr. A, Dr. DJ, and faculty, and everyone else, been a while since I've sent a card. Want to wish you all a wonderful holiday season. Thank you for all you do for the cats and kittens. You are an amazing couple. I have been out of commission since January. Ooh, uh, I fractured my kneecap and needed emergency surgery rehabbing since then. So I wanted to send you a card and say hello. Enjoy watching the kittens so much. Peace, love, and blessings. Morning sunrise, a.k.a. dawn. Dawn, that's got to really be awful. I know um, I've had a, okay, Maggie, you don't have to bite the kitten. Um, I know I've, I've had a, a number of issues myself and I had to go to physical therapy for my back and uh, you gotta, you really got to keep up with that stuff. Keep right on top of it. Even when they tell you that you're good enough and you go home, stick with it. Um, you know, not that I should be the one to give advice on that, but it's so important. Uh, I speak from the experience of not having stuck with it the way that I ought to. So. Uh, but I'm working on getting back to it now. <laughs> Buddy, you just don't care at all that she is going to keep hitting you, do you? You're just like, I don't care. I'm going to get in here and play too. All right. Uh, Dawn, I do. I hope you're feeling better, though. I know. It's just awful. It's starting to fall apart. Uh, but it happens to all of us eventually, kids. So uh, got to be ready to deal with it the best you can. This is really pretty. It's a photograph of a cat looking up, and then they've added a very sparkly star hanging uh, for him to be looking at. It says, Wish Upon a Star is the title of it. Super cool. Very uh, glittery. In fact, there's glitter that's come off of the star and is all over the card. Dear Mr. A, Dr. DJ, esteemed faculty and students, may your holidays be filled with joy and non-destructive kitten chaos. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from England. With best wishes for the Christmas, I'm sorry, best wishes for Christmas and the New Year from David and Lynn, who are Ginger David on Patreon. So sweet. And uh, it's also a card that is from Cats Protection. You say, we support, you've written, we support Cats Protection on it. So I know you really mean it. That's awesome. And I love that you can buy this card to support them because it's a beautiful card. That, that It's really pretty. So thank you for sending that. Uh, David and Lynn, Ginger David, uh, much appreciated. All right, here we have, Maggie's just going to keep reaching out to smack him, and he's just going to keep sitting there. Why don't you sit here if you want to watch her and wait for her to move out of the way? Okay, buddy. All right. Uh, we have a golden card here. It says thank you on the outside, but I don't know what we're being thanked for yet. Inside, oh, Wow. We've got this really cool, uh, I would call it a mixed media, but it's not really. It's just a card. Uh, but you can see that it's got like this puffy paint kind of a thing. Uh, and it's made a cat that's sort of a paisley, not really. I don't know what you would call this, actually, but it's really pretty. It says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, kittens, mom, cats, and faculty, thank you from one of your adoring fans. So that's so sweet. And you sent a wonderful gift card. My goodness. Uh, that's super generous. Thank you very, very much for that. And the gift card has a picture of a dog and a little kitty uh, headbutting each other. It reminds me a lot of Ari and uh, Ari and Elsie. Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, I've enjoyed watching KA since the port oranges were little. All of the kittens and cats in your care have been slash are wonderful. But I do especially remember Rotterdam et al., Princess Paisley, Tommy Pastrami, Scotty and her puppies, plus buttons and ocean sailing kit. And now I love watching Cahoots and Cahooligans. What a bunch of cutie pies. I also love the cow theme. It's great. Thank you for providing such a wonderful home for cats and kittens and sharing it with the rest of us. With love and thanks, uh, I think that says Joanna. I'm going to go with Joanna, although it might be just Jana. Jana? Why? Uh, last name, why? Uh, Joanna, Jana, thank you so much. That is really sweet of you, and it's a beautiful card. And uh, I love thinking of all those kitties, too. Uh, they're playing with yesterday's tissue paper all of a sudden over there. And I probably turned the camera so you can't quite see it. Let's see if I can turn it back since Maggie's blocking everything up front. Okay. Now I have to look at the phone again to see where we're pointed. 
<laughs> we're just about to knock that into the next room anyway, so it'll be academic in a minute. But yeah, they're on the camera. Good. I see DJ's upstairs still checking out the cat, and I'm sure I would have heard by now if everybody was listening in on her call to her mother. So I think we're in good shape. That's good. Oh, I also see people in the chat talking about cats protection and how they've uh, been longtime members of Pauline in specific. Uh, so that's really cool. I, I think that's fantastic. Okay, tis the season. And we have Charlie Brown and his crew uh, hanging ornaments on a big white Christmas tree. And inside it says, wishing you a Christmas decorated with happiness. Thank you very much. That's from Lois, I think. Lois, uh, Lois C. will say thank you very much for that. Much appreciated. And this one says, okay to be read on air. Oh, it also says handmade with love. Very nice. Oh, very busy herringbone kind of pattern there. Oh, this is so cool. It just says season's greetings on the outside, but it's a Christmas tree that's made of yarn. And then it's got little uh, sparkly uh, sequins on it as the ornaments. And it's got all, it looks like, um, Actually, I was going to say it's all the faculty, but it's not quite the faculty. I see Smokey at the top for sure. And I see what looks like maybe a young custard, but not quite. Loganberry. Uh, and then I th see, I think, Ivy and um, Angel, perhaps? They're very tiny pictures. It's a little hard to tell, but it's beautiful. Beautiful card. And I love the fact that you've got this the actual woven string on here. And little 3D season's greetings and the pictures of the little kitties and uh, the sequins and then a gold star on top. Best wishes for a happy holiday season. May the new year be filled with kittens. From Paula, who is Paula, is that VA? I think Paula VA on Discord. P.S. Hope you recognize the cats on the card front. Well, I do. Most of them, I think. They're very tiny, though. Oh, you know what? I said, uh, let's see, this one. Oh, my gosh. I recognize that face. Uh, I do see Smokey for sure. I'm pretty sure that's Logan Berry. The one that I said, um, and I am pretty sure that's Ivy and Angel. Uh, the other ones, the other two are, oh man, I, I don't know. Is that Tommy and, um, I'm not I'm not sure who that last one is. I can't tell for sure. I'm gonna excuse on the fact they're so small, but I can see them pretty clearly. I think it's just my memory that's given out of me. The faces are super familiar faces and I'm just not, I'm just not, which is what happens to me all the time when I'm watching the uh, the magic picture frame that we have with all the alumni on it all day long, and I'll watch it, and there are beautiful photos on there, and so often I'm just like, oh boy, that cat looks familiar, <laughs> uh, but I don't always get who it is. So anyway, thank you all for the wonderful cards and season's greetings, and uh, Merry Christmas to all of you who, who do Christmas. If you don't do Christmas, then happy uh, whatever it is that you do. Um, thank you. All right. Let's see here. We have two packages that are both from Dr. Pussum, I think. Wasn't there a second one in here that was also? I'm pretty sure there were two of these. Yes. So let's see if they're the same thing or if they're different things. Oh, I see. No, this one is addressed specifically to Thimble and faculty. And this one is probably the regular monthly thing. So we'll open the regular monthly first. Dr. Pussums, of course, uh, makes that. Oh, look at that. They do have a holiday pack. I love the one with the little star mints on it. Not that star mints are good. They're not, but they're just really pretty pattern. Um, uh, really pretty Christmas stuff. And this does say it is the December catnip of the month, uh, the Nip Nog Party Pack. Very cool. So uh, as we know, Dr. Pussums makes the catnip. Uh, that is, It's very good stuff. It's like, yeah, it's the cats really go for it. But I, I feel like I've said this before, and now I'm not so sure anymore because it's been a while since we've really seen any evidence of it one way or the other. But I feel like Dr. Pussums might, might be uh, interesting for a longer time. Uh, but that's hard to quantify. It's, it's hard to measure that exactly. So who knows? Hey, buddy, brought that right in here. That was cool. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Get moving too fast. All right. So this is also from Dr. Pussums and it says thimble and faculty and probably sent from somebody. Let's see. Is there room for a note? Customer note. Kicker toy for thimble, felted balls for faculty and as you see fit from Laura Kitten Fan. Merry Christmas. Not only that, but the people at Dr. Pussums highlighted the customer note. That's very thoughtful of them. So I would know exactly where to look. So this is a big kicker. My goodness. 
Oh, that's so sweet. It's a Laura Kitten fan. It's got her whole name on there, so I'm not going to turn it around. But that's a really cool pattern, too. And inside, then you also said felted balls for fact. Oh, and the felted balls are in the cat, so that's going to be really good. There's a red one and a green one and a yellow one. And I guess if we just leave the yellow one out, it really is going to look like Christmas in here. So that's pretty cool, too. Immersed in 100% Dr. Pussum's Fancy Feline Elixir Pure Catnip. <gasps> wow. Well, you do say as you see fit. And I see somebody over here sniffing around to see what we got, buddy. Are you starting to get old enough to appreciate this stuff? Oh, that's orange. It's not red. Well, okay. We failed. Here, let's give you the green one instead. I'll take this one back for later. Now it's Christmassy. Okay. Yeah, I think he is checking out the catnip there. Thank you so much for that. Okay, so this one is specifically for, you said thimble, right? Thimble, okay. She's got a lot of catnip up there already, so I'm just going to label it and put it away for the moment, but I want to make sure it gets her name on it so we know. Uh, thimble. Besides that, she's probably not looking for any catnip today. I'm also going to write it on this side, thimble. Perfect. That back there for just a minute. Thank you so much, Laura. Uh, and let's keep going. Uh, let's keep going. Okay. This is oh, Callie's mom. All right, Callie's mom. What have we got this time? Let's check it out. It is uh, stickers, and it looks like. Some sort of green plant stickers? What are these? No, that's not it. That's just their diagram. I guess we're going to have to look. Hmm. Oh, I think it's a big tree. Interesting. We have a, a box of big room stickers that we, we use sometimes for the moms that, uh, you know, that like to decorate their box or just in general. Let's see. Oh, I think this is a picture of it. I think it is a tree with a cat in it. Oh, but it's like a big. Let's take a look here. Oh, wow. Okay. That's a pretty good size. Wait, what is this? This is just blank? They just sent a big blank piece? All right, I guess let's doodle your own. We'll get out the markers and make our own giant sticker. That piece is just blank, and this piece is a tree, yes. Or maybe the one is to cover the other, or maybe if you want to take it off and stick it on something, you can do it that way. Let's find out. The backing paper, blah, blah, blah. No, 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 no. No, no, no. no okay, well, that's fine. It's a DIY. This is very pretty, though. We'll have to figure out the right place to put this. I love the little cat sitting on the tree branch. Uh, now I have to figure out how to fold it up carefully so I don't mess it up. Actually, that looks just right to me. Perfect. Well, uh, thank you, Callie's mom. Did I miss a note in here? No, no, no. Okay, cool. Oh, maybe I did, actually. It fell out right here. Happy holidays, Mr. A, DJ faculty, alumni, moms, kits, and extended KA family, cat wall decor from Callie's Moms. Well, indeed, that's exactly what it is. Cat wall decor, that's a good generic term for it. Uh, Maggie, what are you even doing? Is this how you play with the kittens now? At least she's not just hissing at them and hitting them and running away. Oh, I see, that's separate transfer film in case we want to put it backwards, I think. Or put it on a window? I don't. You know what? We'll figure it out. We will figure it out. Uh, in the meantime, we do have a set of stuff like that. Like I said, we mostly use it for decorating mom cat boxes, or did, and we need to get back into that. So that's a good reason to do it. All right. What next here? Another thing from the box. This is from Lena. Lena. All right. Cool. Well, I would say we know what this is going to be, but it doesn't feel like stuff you sent before. I think it's going to be maybe along the same lines. Uh, Lena always sends something that's personalized for the kitties, but it's usually a bowl or those little toys, and this is very different. Let's see. It says Susabella. Susabella.com. Oh, they're Christmas tree ornaments, each one with the kitty's name on it. This one is hogwash. Here we go. Look at that. A little ceramic Christmas tree ornament that's a kitty, and it says hogwash right on it. And the others must be the same. Let's take a, maybe a quick look at a second one to compare. And if it's not very different, we don't have to try to open all of them and put them back nicely. Uh, see, I'm already failing to put it back nicely. I guess like this, probably. No, I think I got that upside down backwards. See? Oh, this is why I can't have nice things. Okay. 
So SueSabella.com, and that's from Lena, and we've got Hogwash, Hoodwink, Cahoots. They are exactly the same. All right, good. That's good news. This is cool. Wow, this is a little different than what you normally send, but I do love having something that's personalized. And, of course, the adoptions are going to be due right around Christmas, probably a little after, but they can have this for next year. Remember their late Christmas present. We'll see about that. Uh, that's so sweet. And of course, there are six of those. So that's one for each of the kittens plus one for mom. And I don't have a good place to set these yet. So I'm just going to put them right here. Lena, thank you for that. Oh, you didn't have a note. The note says a little something for the holidays for Cahoots and her adorable Kahooligans. Love and Spoogles, Lena. Uh, Lena, that is, that is really, really sweet of you. I love that you always send something that's got all the kittens' names on it. It's, uh, it's extra special. Even for the people that do end up changing the names, having the original name is also fun. I still appreciate the, the, the sheet that we've got that has, like, Eddie's original name was Chip. And uh, it says Chip on it, and I still think that's cute. So, oh, look at this. It looks like a suit cow, and we've got The Note. Uh, it doesn't say on the outside who this is from, but this is great. Oh, and it's the 2XS size, which is the size that most of our mom cats use, including... Um, uh, 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 names Cahoots upstairs. It's, that's the size she wears. We've got a beautiful Christmas card with Simon, River, and Cobb on it. I will never figure out where those names came from. That's not true at all. Uh, happiest of holidays from Simon, River, and Cobb, and also from Jenny, a.k.a. Human to Cats. Wow, and it's got their little uh, paw prints on here, too. That is adorable. Look at that. Simon, River, and Cobb. So uh, there's also a note. Mr. A, Dr. DJ, esteemed faculty and dedicated students, happy holidays to you all. I've enclosed a secret agent suit that will hopefully fit one of the moms or non-moms. I picked it up for my sweet boy Cobb with the Batman mask after he had to have surgery, but was unable to use it. He's doing well now and is nearing full recovery. And the wonderful Discord community you've, helped, you've built helped me maintain my sanity through a crazy whirlwind of a month. He's been released from both kennel confinement as well as gotten rid of the terrible cone of shame. Simon, the gray tabby, and his sister River with the Phantom of the Opera mask have decided that since he finally stopped smelling like the vet, he's cool to be around again. My wish for everyone, both at the Academy and those who watch, is to have a wonderful holiday season and happy and healthy 2023. From Jenny, a.k.a. Human, to Cats. Well, thank you so much, and it's very nice of you to send this suit to us, uh, because like I said, it is exactly the size that most of our mom cats wear, including a uh, little Kahootie upstairs, who we may end up putting in a suit, even though she doesn't seem to really need one right now. I, I still feel like putting her in the suit kind of calms her down a little bit, and that may be a useful technique for us, even if she doesn't need it for medical reasons. So uh, thank you so much for that. Okay, uh, I don't know where to put all this stuff right now, though, so we'll figure that out. Okay, moving right along. Oh, well, I recognize the logo on this one. Let's find out what this is all about. I think this is from uh, Dragon Maker. Indeed, it contains Dragon Maker wings. And it looks like there's six of them and a note that says, Mr. A and DJ. Oh, that's so cute. It's sealed. There's a little kitten uh, here, and it's holding a balloon, and the balloon is sealing the envelope. That's adorable. Look at that. It's two separate stickers with just a line drawn between them. That is very clever. All right. Inside, the note says, Dear Mr. A and Dr. DJ, these catnip wings were sent by Aunt Susie of Camp Crazy Kitty for cahoots and her kahooligans. Oh, now Maggie's on the warpath because she just tasted catnip. Uh, where's the little ball at? Did one of the kittens run off with it? Maggie could take that. Or is it just pushed? Oh, there it is. Maggie, try this. What's that? Okay, too late. Uh, the catnip wings were sent by Aunt Susie of Camp Crazy Kitty for cahoots and her cahooligans. Her message, happy nipping, love, Aunt Susie of Camp Crazy Kitty. P.S. Dawes, K.A. Con, Fancy, Lobster, and Fragile. All right, well, I guess I know what that was about. Uh, it was great to see you at K.A. Con, by the way, and uh, uh, wonderful that, that, uh, that these have been sent for this class. I know they will really appreciate them. Uh, for now, I'm going to tuck them right back in here. And we will add them to the endowments, uh, which I guess we're just collecting over here for the moment. So uh, there we go. Okay, now two more boxes, and then we're all set. So today is going to be, I think, a short one. Feels short. Yeah, that is short. Okay. 
Uh, this is also from, or not, yes, also from? No, not also from. Uh, this is from Laura Kitten Fan. Okay. Not, uh, not Lena. Uh, yes, there we go. So we can keep four letter L names separate. We can do that. This is Laura Kitten Fan sent us Fancy Feast Classic Chicken Pate. No note in here, but that is exactly what we feed to the faculty and to everyone who will eat it. Uh, including DJ and myself uh, on those days when we, you know, are feeling up to it. So <laughs> we don't really eat the kitten food. Uh, your box would be great for us to put the endowments in while we're going through this. And this will be wonderful for us to give directly to the faculty and to the kittens. They will uh, go right through that. So thank you so much. Uh, the rest of this, all right, Custard is going to just hang out right there. Buddy, I'm pretty sure that this is a misuse of postal property. You're going to get three years of imprisonment. He doesn't care. He's a scoff law. All right. Well, just let us show. Let the record show. Custard is the one who did it, not me. Custard, go to jail, pal. All right. Finally, one last box hiding back here in the back. This is from Bob and Ruth. They sent two boxes. We only got to one of them yesterday. Uh, they also, I think they sent me a note to say that the bear, or maybe the cookies, hadn't actually been sent yet. I don't know. But if I don't find a bear full of cookies in here, I'll understand. That's okay. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes you get a bear full of cookies. Sometimes you don't. <clears throat> All right. This is another soft, wonderful red blanket that may or may not have uh, a little fold on it to be hooked over. It does. I can see that from here from the side. Uh, a fold that can hook over the back of a chair. So it's really, I guess, made for a chair. If it's made for something else, I don't understand what, but intuitively, I feel like it's made for a chair. And uh, in fact, we put the other one right there on that chair. So this one could go on the other chair in the other room and that would be real matching. Um, like I said, stuff that's wrapped super nicely like this, I'm probably gonna put under the Christmas tree. And I already put your other one under the Christmas tree. So I'm just gonna put this over there too. And we'll let it be a surprise later on. Uh, yesterday, I had a, a long chat about how DJ and I uh, usually have the underside of our Christmas tree is kind of bare because we don't really, as much as Christmas is the holiday here at the uh, Kitten Academy that DJ loves and that, you know, I love because of her, um, we still don't really get each other presents ever. Um, there's just, you know, there's nothing to give. <laughs> so, so when other people send us nicely wrapped presents, it's nice to put those under the tree and have uh, that, that visual, the lovely visual of presents under the Christmas tree. Uh, I really like that. Uh, also, 4KA, wow, this is so fluffy and soft. It says velvet soft, reverse to Sherpa throw. So the front is almost quilted. It is sort of a quilted soft um uh, polar fleecy kind of material, fleecy, I guess I would say. And then I can't see much of the reverse anywhere, but I'm guessing the backside then is that that like wool Sherpa material that the cats, uh, our new mom cat especially loves to knead in, but all the cats, uh, really that Sherpa material is something that pretty much any cat that has that tendency to knead that we've ever had would like to knead on. And as I recall, it was either Basil or Tarragon that liked to nurse on it. Um, that was a long time ago, though. I can't remember if it was one of them or both of them, or maybe I'm thinking of somebody else completely, but in my head, I got it down as tarragon, I think. Uh, that like to nurse on the Sherpa material. Interesting. I haven't thought about that in a little while. Okay, uh, so these are wonderful. And yes, indeed, no bear full of cookies, but that's okay. Uh, I can bear it. Um, I, I know I got your message that said that was probably coming later, so that's fine with me. I'll survive somehow. Uh, I've got so much like candy and cookies and stuff to get through already. It's just too much, too much for any one man. Um, yeah, but I do my best. I hear the Popo Sneets house moving around over there. It was tarragon. I'm being told <clears throat> awesome by someone who remembers things more clearly than I do. So I was right though. That's, that's one of the rare moments when my memory didn't fail me. How about that? I just, I can't trust it anymore now when it tells me things. Uh, I'm, I'm like, yeah, okay, but I don't believe you. I do, on the other hand, believe Hell's Dells when she tells me, so uh, that sounds right to me. Okay, that's it. Uh, I am going to get this cleaned up, get myself cleaned up, put some food in me, and uh, I guess sort of uh, hunker down for the potential delivery of kittens today. Uh, right now, I am really expecting it to be today, like I said, because uh, she's had that discharge, but 
no contractions yet that we've seen. So uh, I don't know. I was discussing with DJ, and I feel like in the past when we've seen the discharge first, usually the contractions come within the next hour or so. Uh, but I don't really know if that's a rule or if that's common or if I'm even remembering that right. So I wouldn't count on it. Um, anyway, Custer is just sitting here looking at me. It's very cute. He's got kind of an angry face on. I think he just wants to like play or be paid attention to, and it's not happening, and he's feeling it. Feeling it, buddy? Committing all these crimes on camera. Oh, you're crying out loud, pal. Criminal, criminal kitty custard. If there was any kitten at the academy that was going to go that way, though, I know it would have been you. Yeah, that's the one we would have picked. What do you want, bud? Okay. All right. So uh, let's see. This is for endowments. That's for endowments. That's good. This is for general purpose. We should probably get these out sooner rather than later, though. This can go, uh, the rest of the suits are upstairs. What's going upstairs? We'll figure that out. This is going to go right in the next room. These are probably going to go, uh, well, this should get deployed immediately. These can go with this. I guess this can go with this, too. That's all Christmas stuff, basically. These are going to go downstairs. That's all stuff to go downstairs. This is stuff to go other places, and this is to go upstairs. So this is going to go upstairs. Let's just put that in there too. Then this will be the box to go up. Give a moment. Okay, I'll be right back. Ooh. Okay. What you looking at, Dick? That's custard, buddy. You sure did a number on this card from Don. Don, it was good to hear from you, though. You can tell Maggie appreciated it. <clears throat> oh, poor Santa, though. Poor Santa and the reindeer. Not the best year for Santa. <laughs> Well, buddy, you might as well hang out in there if you want to until we take it back. I think that's it for Mailbag, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for everybody that said everything. You're wonderful people. And I just I couldn't possibly say it enough. Um, I hope today is the day that Thimble's going to deliver her kittens. Um, and I guess that's, I guess that's about it. Um, Merry Christmas. And, uh, you know, it's not, not that I won't see you again before. Uh, Christmas is, is going. Was my phone recording something? I don't know what was happening there. I guess not. It just wants to. Okay. All right. Well, hey, let's wrap up the mailbag and then we'll be ready to record.